thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God, because we are here this morning, Lord, in our own free will, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you for the pastor, Lord, the administration, Lord. Hallelujah. The deacons, hallelujah. The ushers, the musicians, Lord. Hallelujah. The saints as a whole, Lord. Hallelujah. The ones that are on their way, the ones that are already here, Lord. Remember those who that came to the altar, Lord, boldly to you know, obtain mercy, Lord, in the time of trouble, Lord. Hallelujah. The bird of say on that tree, Jesus, Son of David, have mercy upon me, Hallelujah. It is me standing in the need of prayer, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you for our families, Lord. Hallelujah. Today we have no sad story, Lord. Hallelujah. We are here to worship you, Lord. In Spirit and in truth, Lord, hallelujah. Bless the one who's bringing up the word this morning, Lord. Bless them in the name of Jesus, Lord. Whoever may be, Lord, hallelujah. We praise you, Lord. We thank you, God. We thank you for your goodness and mercy unto us, Lord, hallelujah. Yes, Lord, our righteousness come as filthy rags before you. But we thank you. We are here, Lord, hallelujah. We magnify your name, Lord. In Jesus' precious name. In Jesus' precious name. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. chapter 3, then I'll give you the verse. If you have it, amen. say amen. If you don't, say wait a minute. Say wait a minute. If you don't have it. And I would like everyone to turn to verse 21. So there'll be uh, Lamentations Hallelujah. 3 and 21. And it reads, This I recall to my mind. Therefore have I hope. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, saith my soul. Therefore will I hope in him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him. Hallelujah. To the soul that seeketh him. Yes, it is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. Hallelujah. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and hearing of his word.
open communication, shared experiences, and unwavering support. Psalms 133 and 3, Behold, and how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. When God's children come together in unity, we demonstrate the power of the gospel and live in a way that pleases the Lord. Have you considered the power of prayer? Jesus said, when two shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. Not only does it create an atmosphere of praise and of power, but unity that will strengthen our faith. And the prayers that have the power from God will bring into existence his promises through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The power of unity. Welcome into the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. first time visitors. Now turning the remainder of the service back into the hands of Minister Phil. Amen. 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 This is not Andrea, but those announcements. At this time, we'll call the deacons to take up our offering. Let us see them for saying amen. Why don't you pray?
somebody ought to praise him this morning. Somebody ought to give him some glory for the right.
years old. Now I'm 66. Hallelujah! Yeah. Now a bit of, what they call it, a, a bed of roses. There's been some tests. There's been some trials. But he brought me through. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, he has. Hallelujah. That's over 40 years. He's been keeping me. Hey.
Honorable Bishop Winston A. Singleton Sr. Maybe a little 
different. You know what? When I was sitting there, he was like, you got to go another way. Oh. And I had two, two ways, but he sort of flipped the script. <laughs> so first, I like to sing a little bit of this song. It's through his love. Of the man. For oftentimes it had caught him, 
And he was kept bound with chains and in fetters. And he broke the bands and was driven of the devil into the wilderness. And Jesus asked him, saying, What is thy name? And he said, Legion, which when I looked up is approximately 6,000 devils in one person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because many devils were entered into him. And they besought him that he would not command them to go out into the deep. And there was there and heard of many swine feeding, which I was when I was reading this and looking at it, you know, swine is an unclean animal. Right. And the Jews didn't deal with swine because that was unclean. Yeah. Yeah. Feeding on the mountain. And they besought him that he would suffer them to enter into them. And he suffered them. Then went the devils out of the man. Can you remember 6,000 demons flying out of this man, going into these pigs, and entered into the swine, and the herd ran violently down a steep place into the lake and were choked. When they that fed them saw what was done, they fled. And went and told it in the city and in the country. Then they went out to see what was done. And came to Jesus and found the man out of whom the devils were departed, sitting at the feet of Jesus, clothed and in his right mind. And they were afraid. Hallelujah. The next scripture that we're going to be going to is Luke chapter 8, 43 to 48. Luke 8, 43 to 48. A very familiar scripture that we know, and it just seems like these scriptures just keep coming up, coming up, coming up. That's what I know it is. And a woman having an issue of blood 12 years, which had spent all her living upon physicians, neither could be healed of any, came behind him and touched the border of his garment. And immediately her issue of blood staunched. And you know what that means? That means it stopped. It stopped immediately. Not yesterday, not next week, but immediately. Because we know we serve a right now God. Hallelujah. Hey, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. And Jesus said, who touched me? Hallelujah. When all the night, Peter, and they that were with him said, Master, the multitude throng thee and press thee, and sayest thou who touched me? And Jesus said, somebody hath touched me, for I perceive that virtue is gone out of me. And when the woman saw that she was not hid, she came trembling and falling down before him. She declared unto him before all the people for what cause she had touched him and how she was healed immediately. And he said unto her, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace. The next scripture we'll be going to is Luke chapter 17, 11. about the lepers. You remember the lepers, the ten? This is what this story is about. And it came to pass as he went to Jerusalem and he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers, which stood afar off. You know, when they were lepers, They'd have to come by and say, I'm clean, I'm clean, brother. I'm clean, I'm clean. And they lifted up their voice and said, Jesus, hey, Jesus, master, have mercy on us. 
And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourselves unto the priests. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. So you know the woman got clean and she was delivered immediately. These ones on the way. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God. And fell down on his face at his feet. Giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answering said, Were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? They are not found that return to give glory to God. Save this stranger. Save this stranger. So I'm taking for a topic a dirty dish rag. The subtopic, are you clean? Lord, make me clean. <laughs> a dirty dish rag. Are you clean? Lord, make me clean. Hallelujah. If you think about a dish rag, what is that? It's, it's a dishcloth that you wash, right? You wash with when the dishes are dirty. But sometimes you might leave that dish rag. Pretty soon, little gnats, bacteria, all kind of nasty stuff is in there. And it becomes dirty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You think about something that's dirty. Hallelujah. Sometimes your mind can be dirty. It trickles down from your mind down to your body and next to your spirit. The mind can have unholy thoughts, unclean thoughts, a dirty mind, corruption, vile, foul mouth, immoral, wicked, morally bad, and evil thoughts which can lead to issues that will later take place in the body, such as smoking cigarettes, alcohol, drugs, all kind of different evil things that are in this world today. Yes, yes. What are you consuming in your body today? You know your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Hallelujah. What are you doing to defile this temple? What is it? Lord, help me. Help me. Don't let me be like a dirty dish rag today. Hallelujah. Just like the dish rag is dirty, we can be dirty too. Hallelujah. Sometimes you can't see our dirt. It's just like sometimes the dish 
was 21 years old when I got saved. I was out there in the post office smoking. Hallelujah. Just thought I was just all having a bag of chips. <laughs> playing cards. Hallelujah. Cheating when I was playing cards. <laughs> hallelujah. Just doing all kinds of stuff. So my sister was saved and she was back east and she was feeding me. I was Catholic at the time. Yes. Hallelujah. She kept telling me, oh, I found this new church, Christine. Oh, yeah. She yet. said, uh, oh. you got to... You, I have, you have to explain it to you. Hallelujah. I didn't have a clue. Hallelujah. But you kept feeding me the word. Kept feeding me through the phone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I wanted it. Hallelujah. I said, Lord, I'm tired of living the way that I'm living. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes you feel like you done did something so bad. Hallelujah. That nothing, nothing can help. Hallelujah. I'm telling you here. Hallelujah. Right now. The blood of Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, it will wash you, hallelujah, make you white as snow, hallelujah, hallelujah. So anyway, getting back to the story, hallelujah, hallelujah, I went, my husband and I went on a vacation, hallelujah, I saw my dad, hallelujah, and he had got me some, hallelujah, he had got me some uh, bits and hedges. Menthol. And I wanted Virginia Slim menthol. I said, Dad, why you give me the wrong one? <laughs> so I smoked the whole pack. Hallelujah. That was that morning. It was church. I was going to go to church with my sister. And so after I smoked that pack, he gave me the other one. So I go to church. Right? And, and what happened was I went to the church, and it was in Arnold, Pennsylvania, Bethlehem Temple Church. And the saints that came up, they used to pray before church 30 minutes. They get on their knees and they were praying. I was the only one out in the audience. I asked my sister, I said, I said, boy, yes, I want to go up. So I go up, right? I'm going to be out there by myself. So I go, I go up and all the saints are praying and stuff. And guess what? I start saying, I'm a father. I didn't even know what I was saying. It's in the Bible. I was I had like standing down with, I'm a father, I'm a father. Because I had a thirst. Yeah. Hallelujah. I wanted to be delivered. Yeah.
He said, okay, you're going to suffer a lot of pain, sorrow, and suffering. And after he said that, he vanished. And I was coming up out the water. I looked around the building. Nobody was there. I didn't see anybody. And then people started appearing. I'm still in my wet clothes in the pool, hugging the saints when I came out. Guess what? When I got out the water, I went through the doors. I went to the banister, and I threw up that cigarette smoking demon. Water can clean you up. But you need in that water 
a cleansing agent. You need that detergent, that washing power. And that's the blood of Jesus Christ. Is there one that wants to be clean? Is there one? When you get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, you will be clean. The sin that Adam put on us because we came from our father Adam and plus anything you have done wrong from birth all the way up to this day, it can be washed away in the blood of the Lamb. Is there one? Come right now. We can baptize you. We have a baptism right on the other side of that curtain. We can baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ. And you can be clean. Not on the outside. But most importantly, you'll be clean on the inside. You heard her testimony. And that's the first time I heard that testimony. That's a great testimony. I keep telling you. Is there one? If not, may the Lord bless you and may the Lord keep you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Can we say praise the Lord? Amen. Would you stand on your feet, please, as we get ready to dismiss? And there will not be any prayer today. And not that Bishop is trying to get out of the ministry of healing. When you step outside, Lord. <laughs> it's good to see you. When you step outside, it's raining. Hallelujah. The winds are blowing, so we're going to hurry up and let you out so you that live far can get home safely in Hallelujah. Jesus' name. May the grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Hallelujah. Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost continue to be with us all today and forevermore. Until we meet again, have a safe and blessed week in the name of Jesus Christ.